What's up brothers and sisters and we happy to see you here with us. Thank you for always coming back to watch our videos and for subscribing if you have not subscribed. Please join our African Buzz family, African Buzz nation and become a citizen. So we know you are excited you want to know what is happening in Senegal. We saw the election that happened on the 24th of March. They had the uh, inauguration on April 2nd. On April 5th, we saw, uh, immediately, we saw Osman Sonko being made the Prime Minister. Then on April 5th, we saw Osman Sonko taking his people and, you know, selecting his ministers. And he took 25 ministers and five secretaries for the government. So, yesterday, on April 9th, that was on a Tuesday, 2024, they had the Council of Ministers that was held at the Palais de République under the chairmanship of the head of state, Pasiru Jomaifai. So, he said a lot of things, but we want to dwell on the most important bit because he started on thanking the people, you know, congratulating Sonko, congratulating, you know, the 25 ministers and five secretary of state. And that was wonderful. Then the head of state asked the government to accelerate the intensive and coherent achievement of the project by working with precision, diligence, method, and efficiency to the satisfaction of the populations and it's in the best interests of Senegal. So the president of the Republic, John Maifa, insisted on the role, action, and responsibility of the government, an institution which must always be anchored in, in respect for the rule of law and the historic Pan-African values. I hope that Pan-African is real. Uh, which maintain our life in society with regard to the growing impatience and demands of the populations. I hope also they are going to look at the and follow the demands of the population. So the head of state notably recalled the need to define the and implement a policy inspired by the Senegal Systems Transformation Project, which will be like the, uh, the uh, objective or the uh, light to take them to wherever they want. And uh, it has been broken down into five major orientations, which is youth education, training, entrepreneurship, and employment of young people and women, fight against the high cost of living and the increase of the increase in the purchasing power of households, uh, the modernization of justice, the protection of human rights, good governance, transparency, accountability, and the improvement of, our, of their democratic and electoral system. I don't like democracy. The economic sovereignty and prosperity of Senegal, the optimal exploitation of natural resources and the sustainable endogenous development of the territories and the consolidation of national unity and solidarity in strengthening the security, peace and the stability of the country. But the president asks Osman Sonko, who is the prime minister, on the basis of the project and the presidential orientations that we have stated to finalize before the end of April 2024 the government action plan with an agenda precise achievement of the set objectives. I think this guy is learning a lot from the year. Like we are not waiting for 2073. No, we are not waiting for 2064. April, this guy was um, put into power when? when yeah, was in the April. Inauguration? Yeah, April 2nd. And he wants this done before the end of April. April. Actually, these, like, these guys were, were like selected the ministers now, I think. on April 5th. And they have to have a plan. You're not here to sleep. You're here to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is it. So in this I perspective, mean. the head of state and ask the prime minister to ensure the effective and rapid establishment effect establishment of ministerial cabinets and to propose for each ministry a new rationalized organization and appointment which are in accordance with the reforms validated sectoral objectives. So he asked the prime minister to do this before the end of April. Mm -hmm. Carry out a general review of programs and projects, human capital and budgetary resources in each ministry. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because in some cases you find that they are cost workers. Mm -hmm. So some money is paid to nobody, you know? So number two is access the general situation of public finances in accordance with the code of transparency, the management of public finances, 
international cooperation, the, syst uh, the status of all signed financing agreements and public-private pi partnership. You know, this is where you look at this uh, of certain company from France, which has not been paying taxes, and we need to know, you know, we need to know the, the signed financing agreement. And the transparency, that's, that was my biggest concern. Yeah. If you have to do things, um, Jomaifai, be transparent to your people, because yeah. they need to know where the money was going out and yeah. how this disease will be curbed. Right. So that the money stays in the country because and benefits the people. These people usually come with a lot of corruption. Exactly. We've seen it in Burkina Faso where yeah, uh, really. they were given a contract to build the airport and they didn't. Yeah, so try to true. take it up. So number three is to initiate without delay with the public sector, national in particular, the implementation of a bold policy to revive the national economy. We need to do to have a lot of industrialization locally. The next one is change the economic and social policy fair framework with the consecration of the project. And the final one is prepare the government legislative and regulatory program based on the texts by and the adoption agenda proposed by each ministry. Finally, Jamai Fai, who is the president, asked Sonko to rethink the organization and functioning of administration in the parapublic sector and to, to accentuate the reform of the public sector around the digitalization of procedures and the digital transformation of structures. He ordered the holding of a government seminar on the overall framework of state action, as well as the development of an innovative government communication strategy based on anticipation precision of messages but above all on the appropriation of public policies by the populations which must remain at the heart of government. He invited the members of the government to remain humble and sober to cultivate listening, efficiency, collegiality, and solidarity in order to ensure the sustained realization of the project. He also shared with the members of the council the letter of orientation that he addressed to civil servants and agents of the administration of Senegal. And finally, the President of the Republic sent on the eve of Kohite, marking the end of the blessed months of Ramadan, his warm congratulations and best wishes to the Islamic Ummah. That is, today, we are talking about Eid. So guys, that's it. That was the whole meeting of the Council of Ministers in a nutshell. And this shows me, from what you have just read to us, it shows me that these guys had everything written out before their yeah. um, election, even before the inauguration and all of these things. So this has been strategized way before, maybe during their campaigning. This was These are the things that they wish they could do for the country. So with them being put into power, it was just now to release mm -hmm. the strategies that they've written out because... Some of these presidents that we elect, we wait for 100 days for them to even tell us what they want to <laughs> even do. Even to, to meet after, the council of After ministers. the 100 days, we wait for more days for them to meet and now tell their people. You know, even electing ministers and... Right, really it really is, I don't know how to go through parliament. I have never I seen such what. a first, you know, apart from a year, a democratically elected. No, as fast as this one, I, think I had my true. own doubts with Senegal and still do, and I'm waiting for to be proven wrong. And I hope that yeah. with what I'm seeing right here, it's going to be implemented because there's talking and not implementing. Yeah, he said uh, the, by the end of April. Yeah, let us. So, guys, we are going to report. Yeah, and, yeah you're going to. You know, but it's, uh, for me, I'm excited with the way, the, the way that they are taking things forward. And it's just exciting to see that they are, democ dem they are democratically elected governments that can actually move quickly like yeah. this one yeah so guys we still have a little bit doubts they are now at 30 percent or 50 <laughs> now 30 and we'll be informing you in due time let us know what April. you think also we'll see you in the next one bye bye, bye.